everybody. As most of you know, I've just got back from Bodrum in Turkey and I decided to take my camera with me because I get asked constantly where are the best hotels to stay, where are the best areas to rent a villa, what are the best restaurants to go to and most of you know I go every year and I've been going now for 30 years since I was 16 years old. I lived there for about 10 years whilst I was at university and at college. I go for long summer holidays, I go at Christmas, New Year and I was there constantly. So actually I lived there constantly in winter and summer for about seven maybe eight years. Mostly I lived in Bodrum, I lived in Istanbul for six months, I lived in Ankara for three months and if I'm really honest my heart and my second home lie in Bodrum. I speak the language not as fluent as I used to be because if you can imagine I came back in 2001 you know you're just out of practice aren't you so I need to perfect my Turkish actually I need to get back onto it maybe that'll happen as the years go by so here's some nice snippets obviously it's my footage so I really apologize it's not as great a quality as someone else filming it also there's a bit of clicking going on with my autofocus. I really don't know what that's all about. But I'm not a professional photographer or videographer, so I've done my best with it. Hopefully, I give you a good insight into the best hotels, best restaurants, and best areas in the Bodrum Peninsula. When I lived in Bodrum, I lived in a place called Goombet, near central Bodrum and I'm going back 30 years ago and it was the most beautiful bay to stay in. All my Turkish friends watching this video will all agree with me that Goombet was one of the nicest places to stay and all my memories and all my heart will always be in Goombet. But for now, the place that I most probably will stay if I go to Bodrum in the months of July and August, I would stay in Yalkabak. The beauty of Yalakabak is you've got the old town and the new town. The old town is kind of really old school Bodrum, really old school Turkey. You've got loads of fish restaurants, cute little bars, some little pubs there. It's really sweet and it's on the seafront. Other side of Yalakabak, you've got the Palmarina, which is where all the super yachts are. You've got Nuzret Steakhouse. <laughs> Fenix is a franchise of, um, it's a Turkish restaurant, one in Istanbul, one in Bodrum. I think there's one more, two more somewhere else. Fenix restaurant is one of my favorite restaurants. The decor, the, it's very cool, it's very shabby chic. Menu is very much like if anyone's ever been to Menangerie, a restaurant that we have in Manchester. It's very similar, it's kind of a little bit Asian fusion, but with that kind of Miami, uh, vibe to it. Really hard to explain but there's a huge mixture of food on there. The atmosphere is just so cool and you can sit and watch the sunset again. Book at least one week before, highly recommend that. You cannot walk into Phoenix, you cannot walk into Nuzret, you can't walk into Novikov, and you, uh, you can't walk into Zuma. You really need to make your bookings at least one week before, especially in July and August. And to be fair, a lot of these restaurants don't really get going until end of May, mid-June. So just a little tip on that. Yalakabak is definitely a place to be in the summer months of July, August, September. A little bit quiet in May, a little bit quiet in October. And then you've got a couple of Turkish restaurants, Cook Shop, which is a franchise, a um, little bit cheaper, but it's a great place to go for breakfast, lunch or dinner. I love Yalakabak in the way of it's just great for people watching. If you're going to rent a villa, then I would highly recommend Yalakabak as well. One thing to know that not many people know is that the sun sets in Yalakabak. So if you want to go for those sunset dinners or just sit in a cocktail bar and watch the sunset, then Yalakabak's obviously your place. I would highly recommend, if you want a hotel to stay in Yalakabak, um, that would be, for me, the Bodrum edition. I always rent a villa when I'm in Turkey. So when I rent a villa, I go to most of these hotels just for the day and pay as a day guest. I'm actually a member of Bodrum edition, so I'm there all the time. I know the manager, I know all the staff, they've all become great friends. If you are renting a villa, and you want to go to Bodrum Edition for the day, then make sure you get there before 11am 
especially in the summer months of July and August because they will stop day guests coming in and they will give priority to residents. If you go down to the beach, you'll see Rula. Rula is the beach manager and she's amazing and I'm sure she'll look after you. So if you're an art lover like myself, you can go down to Bodrum and daily at 3 p.m., I think except Mondays, um, there's a one hour art class with Sedef Gali and you can go down there and just get creative and paint every day on the seafront, which is probably not realistic if you're on holiday, you just want to sunbathe and go in the sea and everything. But yeah, I saw loads of people there and um, I just think it's a great idea just to sit there and paint and look out at the sea. And there's a really good vibe there as well, like the music's playing, you can paint and it's just really cool. I just love it. So that's a real top tip for Bodrum Edition Hotel. I'm not on commission for Bodrum Edition. I would tell you genuinely if I didn't like the place, but I love it. My kids love it. We're there daily. Go and see Hikmet down at the water sports. He'll look after you. You can do a sunset boat trip, like fast boat tour from Bodrum Edition to Yalakavak, Palmarina. And if you set off about 7.45 in the summer, you can catch the sunset and we did that. If you go to my Instagram page and go in the best of Bodrum, there's some video clips of that as well. So I would highly, highly recommend doing that and go and see Hikmet. I'm sure you'll look after you if you say you've watched my video. I'm just going to insert a little clip here of a project that I'm really excited about that I'm involved in. I apologise for the clicking because my autofocus kept coming in and out. There's some kind of fault on my camera, God knows what that is. But um, yeah, here's a little clip so you can have a little view of the project. And this is in Yalakovac Hills. Hi everybody, I've come up into Yalakovac Hills and the reason being is the sun setting and I just wanted to give you a sneak peek on the projects I'm working on and literally that's all I'm saying. I can't do anything else at the moment, but fingers crossed and I just want to give you a look round. So have a look at the view. So out to the left is where the sun will set and then you can see the whole of Yalakovac and the sea. This will be the pool behind me. Have a look at the pool. And then this is the house behind me. It's made in all reclaimed Turkish stone. And it's a nice project. Have a look. So everyone, this is the salon. Um, kitchen. Over here. So this is where the kitchen garden will be. And then we've got a gym. Or maybe my art studio. Infinity pool. Look at the reflection of the sun. Incredible. Okay, so my next favourite place to rent a villa, stay in a hotel, to go and eat in a restaurant would be Turk Baku. Turk Baku, if you ever read about it, any read-ups in the Times or one of the nice magazines about Bodrum will always refer to Turk Baku as being the Saint-Tropez of Bodrum. And that's very true. If you're ever fortunate enough to be on a super yacht around the Bodrum Peninsula, your captain will most definitely take you into the bay of Gul Turk Baku and Turk Baku, which are two little bays which are right next to each other and basically one of the same. So Turk Baku, I would say, is very Turkish, but a lot of the more affluent, well-off Turkish people from Istanbul, Ankara, wherever else in Turkey will probably have holiday homes in Turk Baku and they make the way down to Turk Baku and probably holiday there more. I love being around where prominently Turkish people are. Probably I tend to stay away from more commercialised areas now. For me, Turk Baku is just one of the nicest places. I've never stayed in Turk Baku. If you want to stay in Turk Baku, there's the Mandarin Oriental, which is a five-star hotel. But if your budget doesn't match five-star hotel, then you've got loads of little boutique hotels in Turk Baku. Just knowing it as an area is enough. If you have a look on booking.com or any of the hotels, 
hotel website, Turpiku comes up, any boutique around three and four stars is going to be decent and really nice anyway, and you're going to be near that waterfront. So don't worry, Turpiku is just such a really lovely area, really quaint, very traditional. If you want traditional Turkey, that's where you need to go. We love Turpiku for little shopping, street shopping, and two of my favourite restaurants there. One of my favourite restaurants is Miam. I don't have any footage of it on this video, but if you go to my Best of Bodrum, there's some footage from last year on Miam restaurant. Miam is right on the waterfront. You can sit seaside or you can sit at the other side of the little cobbly street which splits the restaurant in two. And that's where the DJ is. It's got a very cool bar. The music's really cool. A lot of Turkish people sit there. That's the kind of place where you'd see all the kind of more of the elite high society of Bodrum probably in Miam. It's such a really nice place to go. Food wise, you've got a good mixture. You've got Turkish meze, fresh fish, fresh seafood, and you can get meats as well. So my son's not a massive fish lover, so he can get his lamb chops and his meatballs as well. So you've got a full mixture in Miam. A little bit further down, you've got Melingetch. So I've chosen to film Melingetch for this film. There's two Melingetches. There's one in Gamushluk and there's one in Turkbaku. The one in Gamushluk, if you go into the Best of Bodrum, you can see footage of that from last year and now I've been I would say that's my favorite one don't get me wrong the one in Turpiku is still amazing so Melingetch is prominently a fish restaurant but you can again get chicken and meatballs there if not everybody's up for fish I highly recommend if you're going to eat fish in Turkey on the seafront in Bodrum there's a way to eat fish in Bodrum you've got to have it with raki you need to order all the meze dishes followed by the fish Eat it slowly, drink your raki slowly, and it just take in the whole night. It's just amazing. So after we'd been to Melingetch on this visit, we went for a little bit of a shop around Turkbaku. We always do this. We either go for a shop first and then eat, but I would highly recommend you eat first whilst the sun's setting and then go for a bit of a late night shop. And you've got loads of little boutiques, jewelry, all Turkish white cotton linen, beachwear, bikini shops, mostly like trinkets and traditional Turkish like little souvenirs. You won't get any counterfeit shops there. So if you're looking for fake handbags and fake t-shirts and everything, you're just not going to get that in Turkbaku. Turkbaku is really quaint and much more traditional and I just love it. You've got the odd street vendor selling sweet treats and there's some footage in there where we're buying the traditional Turkish donut balls covered in syrup. Obviously I didn't eat those. Um, my son had those. But yeah, so my next and where I spend most of my time, if I'm really honest, is in the centre of Bodrum. So centre of Bodrum is where I grew up, where my where I class as my home. If I'm there winter, out of season, if I'm there in May, June, July, August, September, October, I will always be in the centre of Bodrum somewhere. And if that's a restaurant or if that's shopping, my local, I would say is Bodrum Marina Yacht Club. If you're looking out of the bay from the castle, it's what we call the marina side, and that's to the right of the castle if you're looking out of the bay. So if you find yourself in Bodrum and you want to know where Bodrum Marina Yacht Club is, stand where the castle is and walk to the right, right to the end, and that's where Bodrum Marina is. Really small marina, quite a few yachts there, nice for people watching. Go to Cafe Dunia, sir. There's some really nice coffee shops for ice cream, cake, coffee. There's loads of amazing restaurants down there. You've got um, Sunga Pizza. The best fish restaurant to go to in Bodrum Centre is Gemi Basha. So Gemi Basha is where all the locals will go for fish that live in Bodrum. And that's right on the front in Bodrum Marina as well. If I'm going for fish in Bodrum, in the centre of Bodrum, I go to Gemi Basha. And I've been going there since I was 16 years old and it's never changed. It's still a traditional fish restaurant right on the front, prominently fish. You won't get any meat there and meze and expect to drink some raki with it as well. I talked about my local, which is Bodrum Marina Yacht Club. Bodrum Marina Yacht Club has got a restaurant upstairs, a restaurant downstairs and an Italian restaurant at the front and a live band every night till about two o'clock in the morning. So you could literally go there for a cocktail about half past seven, then stay for your dinner and then stay and have drinks and watch the band. If you want to go into the area where the band is, you can get a VIP area. Just give them a ring beforehand and make sure you book and reserve a, I think there's loads of poser tables and you can get drinks and just watch the band till two in the morning. 
morning. If you want to go for a bit of a shopping night and get some good deals, then you really need to get into the nitty gritty and the back streets of Bodrum. So if you're looking out from the main castle in Bodrum, St. Peter's Castle, you want to be walking on the left hand side of the castle. So if you get yourself into all those streets, you get loads of deals, there's loads of jewellery shops and clothing shops and, and bag shops. It's just great. Be prepared to haggle and just enjoy your night. There's loads of cute little restaurants on the seafront. A friend of mine owns a restaurant there called Churchill's. Go to Moonlight Bar for a sundowner. It's Pebbly Beach, very Shirley Valentine and just sit there, have a drink and watch the sun go down. That's heaven. You've got Cafe Del Mar. Highly recommend all of them for a sundowner, for late drinks whilst you're shopping. And don't forget, grab yourself a kebab on the streets. You can't beat one of those kebabs on the streets of Bodrum. And an ice cream. Loads of ice cream shops as well. Not that I eat the ice cream or the bread on the kebab, but um, I'm sure you can. So if you want to stay near a Bodrum Centre, if you can find a villa in Bodrum Centre, I highly recommend that. Hotel-wise, higher end, five-star hotel, I would stay at the Carice Luxury, which is in a little bay called Azarluk, which is on your way out of Goombek. And when you're actually in the hotel, on one side you can see a place called Bitez, on the other side you can see Goombek. So I highly recommend the Carice. You can actually go there as a day guest. On the beachfront, there's a franchise called Buddha Beach Bar, very cool beach club, and uh, which in the evening is the most gorgeous Asian fusion restaurant. And uh, for lunch, it's really nice. Really good vibe. DJ on from say 4 p.m. onwards. Really great vibe down on the beachfront. And the water is absolutely crystal clear. And it's literally one of my favorite places. In fact, on this trip, I stayed in a villa for four weeks and the last four days we treated ourselves and we stayed at the Carice for a couple of days as well. So if you're on a lower budget and you want to stay in central Bodrum or be close to central Bodrum, then I would still recommend Goombet. Goombet's really commercialised now. But do you know what? There's some really lovely hotels on the seafront and that includes Sami Hotel and Parker Myers Hotel. I highly recommend both of them. I grew up there, I know the owners and they're basically family and I really highly recommend. And if you go down there, obviously just mention me because that's where I spent most of my life for the last 30 years. One last place to mention where I would highly recommend renting a villa if you can or staying in a hotel is a place called Torba. Torba is only about 10 minutes from the centre of Bodrum. It's the closest place from the airport as soon as you hit the peninsula. And Torba is a really cute bay. Again, I spent a lot of my time when I lived there in Torba. I worked in Torba, I lived in Torba, I had a holiday home in Torba which I've now sold. So I really highly recommend Torba. Hotel-wise, there's the Voyage, which is it's a bit chaotic and a bit mad. There's, there's a water park in there. I've never stayed there myself, but it tends to be really busy. If you are looking for a lower budget and a quieter hotel, you've got a really cute little hotel called Torbahan. It's very clean. I think it's like three or four star hotel. Torbahan, I would definitely recommend. And then you've got the Casa Delati Hotel. If you're an art lover, this place is just absolutely beautiful. It's like an old Turkish house, but really modern inside. It's on the beachfront. It's full of artwork like you will not believe. And lots of artists come for meetings there and get together and have little art conventions, but you can actually stay there the restaurant's beautiful the whole setting's beautiful and you're right on the beachfront so Casa Delati I would really highly recommend is a really beautiful hotel in Torba and you know what there's loads of websites where you can rent villas in Torba in fact I put a little link for my friend's two villas and my old villa was on the same complex so I'll attach the link for really reasonable villas to rent in Torba as well Okay, so that's a wrap on Bodrum and I hope that you liked all my own video footage. Uh, sorry about the clicking and yeah, it's my home, my second home. I love Bodrum and I love my friends there and I miss them dearly. If you're watching this video, I miss you. And please, I hope that when you visit Bodrum, you get as much joy and happiness out of being there as I do. If this wasn't enough, go to the Best of Bodrum highlights on my Instagram page and you can see more on the restaurants and more footage on there. If you want to see more videos like this or more of my real talk, more of my baking, then make sure you subscribe. Any comments, any questions, please just write below. 
All the links are below. They're all my genuine recommendations. So enjoy. I hope you like the clip and I'll see you in my next video.